Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? I hope good. Thanks so much for tuning in. My topic today is about homelessness. It's a worldwide problem, but I'm speaking more specifically to the homelessness in the United States of America. So what's going on? I know homelessness is not anything new, but this this is this is going way off. Advocate groups and researchers say a big driving force is the decline of affordable housing and the and a problem with decades in the making of housing growing significantly worse in the past few years for uh, people on low incomes. And they're showing in that California has the largest homeless population, about one third of it. In spite of billions of dollars spent, in recent years, hasn't reduced the number of people living in their cars and in encampments or wherever they can find a place to sleep on the bare street. The vast majority of low-income renters must rely on the market rate housing, but the U.S. hasn't built enough housing for more than a decade since the market crash of 2008. Hasn't been a whole lot of low income uh, homes being built. And the tight market combined with the worst inflation in a generation last year has led to double digit rent hikes. The rents have spiked out of control in many places around the country. People can't afford it. Rents are out of reach for many. And millions of affordable places has disappeared. And people just ran out of the ability to pay. Because the rent is far out ran the wage increases. And some say that they had their worst hour. The work hours cut. Others lost jobs because of health crisis. Many crowded in with relatives. You know how that can be short-lived. With friends who were also likely to be poor and were struggling themselves. And they found that those relationships, when they fell apart, they fell apart quickly. People only had one day warning to leave. Even those with their own lease had an average of only about 10 days to move out. And their medium monthly household income in the six months before they become homeless was only $960. $960. And the medium rent for a one-bedroom apartment in most states is ranging somewhere between $1,100 to $1,700, depending on the state. And homeless rates are higher in places where there are both poverty and high, high housing costs. And that gap has been growing for decades as rents have risen faster than wages. And renters spending at least 30 to 50% of their income on housing reached a record high. Can you imagine half of your half of your income going toward just paying your rent? And low cost rentals are or really have disappeared. Because zoning laws and local 
oppositions make it hard to build housing for low-income renters because neighbors will say this in a heartbeat. We don't want those low-income people living here. And they will stop the housing from being built. Even housing that does get built and is built as affordable isn't always cheap enough for those who need it the most. It's really about having enough affordable housing so that people with the lowest incomes can move into the housing. And if they lose their housing, they can find another place to live. We should have affordable housing. This is the richest country on the planet. And guess what's happening? The homeless population is aging. In the past few decades, the proportion of adults experiencing homelessness who are 50 and older has risen faster than other groups. The trend is expected to continue with the proportion of people age 65 and older experiencing homelessness in the United States. Elderly homeless is increasing dramatically. Seniors over the age of 55 are likely the fastest growing group of people experiencing homelessness. And for many of them, it's their first time being homeless. And elderly HUD, I think I read that the elderly first time experiencing homelessness is very vulnerable. They have never been out in those streets. They have no idea what they're dealing with. And nearly one in five people in the United States without a permanent place to live are 55 and older. And they're so vulnerable because it's their first time, as I said, in, in, in their homeless experience before age 50. And re they're reported higher prevalence of lifetime trauma incarceration and behavioral health concern than those of first homeless. You know, those other kind of people been out there and has dealt with all kinds of things. You know? And they say there's no single reason for the rise in older homeless population except a weak social safety net you know, a lot of times you don't have anyone you can depend on. Your children kind of may not be there for you. You know, an insufficient supply of affordable housing among the most factors, though. But, but back in the day when I grew up, there was an extended family. Today, that is almost don't exist where, where the family will come together and reach out and help the older members of the family, take care of them, make sure they are provided for and cared for. It's just not there that much, I, I don't think. And now with the Supreme Court ruling, cities can punish people for sleeping in public places. Cities can ban people from sleeping and camping in public places. So does that mean that being homeless is now a crime and people will be locked up? That's a hard pill to swallow. I mean, it just doesn't ring out any humanity there seems so cold and heartless but it's, it's 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 the truth it's the facts sad 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 almost make you tear up to think about you know they fell on hard times it may be some people just first time and just 
They're going to get back up, but you don't want to be put in jail because you're homeless. But again, the overriding problem is the dire lack of places for low-income people to afford, can afford to live. That's really, that's, that's, there's really no way to solve homelessness without seriously addressing this. Otherwise, we're going to be compelled to continue to sp spend huge amount of money man managing an increasingly out of control crisis. Out of control. Richest country in the world. And to see now that older generation, oh, it's 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 hard it's it, 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 it's heartbreaking. No bit, no doubt about it. It's heartbreaking. People, we're living in we're living in tumultuous, trying times. More than ever before, I've been around a few years. A lot of years, and I can tell you, some of these things, almost, when you hear about them, they don't kind of even recognize that it's humanity that we're dealing with. But that's where we've come to. Thanks so much to everyone who's watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.